Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I want to hop on and do a comparison of these two Longchamp totes. The kind of classic Le Playage tote and the Le Playage Club tote. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary designer handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Longchamp, as well as some lecture gems like Gucci and Burberry. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. So like I said, I wanted to do a comparison of these two bags, in particular because the Le Playage Club Tote is often on sale. I think because it's either getting discontinued or is already discontinued, um, but I've always been curious like what the difference are between the two totes and why the Club Tote tends to be on sale. I purchased this Le Playage, you know, the classic Le Playage Black Tote on Poshmark in September of 2019 for $42, so I got an insanely good deal on that. And I purchased this Le Playage Club Tote uh, from Saks Off Fifth in November of 2021 for $94. So I'll go over similarities, differences, and then ultimately tell you which one I prefer. So the first thing that is the same between these two bags is the construction. So you'll be able to see that, you know, for example, if I take the classic Le Playage Tote, you'll have what looks like two pieces of nylon. So you have the front bit, you have a side seam connecting it to the back bit, and then you have the bottom, which is just kind of the folded bits of the leather. Um, as a consequence, both bags do still have these kind of sharp corners, which are, you know, prone to wear, kind of a notorious place where these bags tend to wear. Um, the other bit that is similar between the two is the leather flap. So on the classic Le Playage, it's a brown leather flap. On the club, it is a coordinating flap that's kind of coordinated with the color of the nylon, but both have this leather flap with the button closure. Both bags also have the rolled leather handle. Um, you have, you can kind of see that the leather is kind of pinched together. You'll see it, the seam right here, and then stitched up. And then you also have glazing on the shoulder strap. The glazing on the Le Playage Club is kind of a blue color, whereas on the classic Le Playage, it is a darker black color. Um, obviously this bag, because I got it from Poshmark, was pre-owned, so it is a little bit older and more worn than this bag, but both do still have that glazing. Um, the other way they're similar is in the design. They both, of course, have this zip top um, with the pull tab that has the Longchamp logo on it. So you'll be able to see both have that kind of circular logo with the zipper. The other similarity is the zipper. Both do have kind of this smaller, probably metal coil zipper. Um, and that is different from other Longchamp bags like the Neo, which have a plastic zipper. Uh, so these, you know, these two bags do have the same type of zipper. Um, the other way they're similar is, you know, the leather tabs on the side. You have, again, um, a brown tab on the classic bag and a coordinated tab on the club, but they're both kind of that leather tab on the end. Um, the other way that they're very similar is both can fold up to be very small. So I flatten the club bag here on the floor because I'm actually going to switch from this bag into that for work. Um, so I flattened it and then you just fold it over like so. Fold it over, pull the strap out, and then you flip it up, and you have the button here. Um, I'm not doing the best job, but it will eventually snap, and you do have that kind of nice, compact little package for your uh, Le Playage tote. In terms of the quality of the material, the leather on both feels the same in terms of both thickness and kind of softness, and the nylon also feels the same. Um, this is different than, you know, something again like the Le Playage Neo, where I think the nylon is a little bit smoother or shinier um, than the classic Le Playage line. Um, you can also see there's the same texture on the leather, so you see this kind of diamond pattern on the brown leather, is also repeated in the club leather as well. Um, and then in terms of the interior of both bags, both bags only have one pocket. So you can see the stitching outline of the pocket on the classic Le Playage bag and just opening that up. So it is basically a big black hole with the exception of the pocket right there, which just kind of is on the front of the bag, 
Um, but otherwise you have no organization on the inside, so you certainly need an organizer in the inside of both of these bags. The bags were refusing to stand up, so I put them flat on the floor, so hopefully they'll stop falling over. Um, so those are the similarities between these two bags. Now, moving on to the differences. The very first and very obvious difference is the color. The classic Le Playage bags, they are, you know, they come with the brown colored uh, leather with, you know, different colored nylon. You can get black, you can get blue, you can get a bunch of different colors, but the um, leather is usually brown. For the club line, you get it in all these bright colors, um, but the color of the leather is coordinated to the color of the nylon so that, you know, they, they kind of match and it kind of blends in. Um, the other thing is that the club has kind of colorful accents on it. So you'll see that you have the, you know, glazing is like a blue color. The button is a blue color versus on the classic Le Playage, the glazing is a black color and the button is a kind of gold hardware. Um, another difference is the club has the embroidered Longchamp logo here. So if I bring that up to you, you'll be able to see you have that um, jockey on the horse versus, you know, the classic Longchamp does not have that logo embroidered on it. Um, the other main difference is the color of the hardware. So you'll be able to see that the classic Le Playage has gold hardware, but the club has silver hardware. And of course, that, that also kind of ties into the button. So the button here on the classic is gold, but on the club is silver. Um, and then the other thing is that the glazing on the club does seem thicker. So if I show those two side by side, I don't, I mean, you know, I did buy the uh, classic Le Playage on Poshmark and it was used. So maybe it's just really worn down over time. But my experience when I look at these in the store is that the uh, Le Playage classic bags tend to have thinner glazing than the club because, you know, maybe the club's glazing is a design feature. They really want it to pop. They really want you to see that color. So they lay it on a little bit thicker. So those are all kind of aesthetic differences, but really the only functional difference between these two bags is the pocket. So on the Le Playage club bag, you'll be able to see that the pocket is actually on the back of the bag. So if you see that stitching right here, it's a fairly big pocket on the back of the bag in the interior. So if I open this up, I will be able to show that to you. You have your fairly big pocket on the back of the bag. And I find this pocket is, you know, a good size and fairly useful. Um, it's certainly big enough to fit more than, you know, a phone and a wallet. Um, and, you know, it's, it's like adds extra organization to the bag. By contrast, the classic Le Playage bag, the pocket is actually on the front of the bag, so you can see that stitching outline here, and it is much, much smaller. It honestly hardly fits my phone in it, so you can see that small pocket right there. If you look at these pockets side by side, you'll be able to see that the classic Le Playage pocket is much smaller than the club pocket. So those are the main differences between these two bags. Ultimately, they're very, very similar in terms of styling and functionality and design. Um, but I do slightly prefer the club bag because of that larger pocket. It just has that kind of better functionality. And the look of the club bag is also more unique. Um, you know, you might see a bunch of these being carried around downtown, but the club bag, you know, it's newer. It's also maybe less popular. So you end up not having a bunch of people with the same bag. Ultimately, you can see though that I do have both and I do rotate them, you know, as my kind of main work tote. So both are very functional and nice to use. I just slightly prefer the club. So yeah, those are the main differences between the classic Longchamp Le Playage tote and the Le Playage club tote. Uh, let me know if you have questions in the comments, but otherwise, thank you guys for watching and uh, please subscribe. Thanks. Bye.